Hey everyone, spooky season is upon us, which gives us the excuse to not turn the lights on, and in my case, to not pay the bills. When I was a kid, everything was out to scare me man. People at school with all those jump scare videos, at my relative's house with my cousins and some crazy magazine, whatever the hell they showed on television during the holidays, even those devils at Tsuburaya had a go at some point. Ultraman is a science fiction fantasy series. It involves a lot of fictional creatures like monsters and aliens. Now, these creatures could definitely be threatening and scary, sometimes even supernatural, although not really in the conventional horror genre. Sure, stuff like Dada or Yapul can be pretty scary, but again, I wouldn't say they constitute the usual horror fare. Thriller, yes definitely, but it's not designed to scare the brains out of you. Tell that to the pants I wet when I was four. Some of these episodes can be pretty f***ed up. Nowadays, I just laugh at all of this stuff, but when I was a kid, some of these episodes messed me up real bad. So, in commemoration of the day that we encourage pissing in our pants, I wanted to talk about the episodes of Ultraman that terrified me. And for that, we have to talk about how I consumed Ultraman back when I was a child. No, I did not eat them. Or maybe I did. I was exposed to Ultraman through DVDs that my family owned that only contained like 2 or 3 episodes of any given series. When I was 6 or 7, I borrowed an Ultraman DVD from my neighbour. At this point, I had only watched some episodes of Ultraman Dyna over and over and over again, and maybe some of Tiga on the TV channel, so imagine my surprise when I saw this. Ultraman Ace Episode 9 10,000 Choju Surprise Attack Plan was a scary one. 10,000? That's bigger than 10! The episode features Gammas, a Choju created by Yapul that could sneak into photographs and jump out of them under certain circumstances. Now, this episode wasn't the kind of scary that knocked my pants off, but more of the kind that gave me the creeps. Firstly, it was the first time I was watching a series from the Showa era, I love this era of shows and they have aged well, all things considered, but you cannot deny that they feel old, vintage, which in itself gives off the uncanny feeling. Secondly, the premise and kaiju. For anyone familiar with this series, this glob of nonsense is supposed to be Yapul. I had no idea what the hell I was looking at, but I did hear the voices. That didn't scare me though, just really confused me. It's probably why I still don't get abstract art. This episode featured a photographer, and film was processed in a room with red lighting, which looked unsettling to me as a child. And of course, Gammas itself. This guy was showing his ugly mug on the photographs, moving around and being a mystery. It was just so surreal to me. I knew something was up with this guy. And then he opened his mouth. The guns inside looked pretty scary to me. I don't know, I guess the weird clash of organic looking creature and the actual machinery freaked me out. Sure, other choju like Velocron also do this, but I didn't know. This was the first time I watched Ultraman Ace. And its face! Oh god, it is pretty hideous! What will the children think? This is why Twin Tail is the industry standard. In the coming years, for the longest time, I was looking for which kaiju this was because I didn't really remember the episode and the premise, but I just couldn't. It wasn't Black Saturn, I checked. But now after becoming a meek ale, yeah, I found out it was Gamas all along and it was this episode in particular. Mystery solved. Hooray. Childhood trauma is no joke! Before we move on to the other one that changed my life, I just want to say that the seventh episode of Ultraman Ginga terrifies me because it was the start of non-stop arguments about Dark Zagi and power scaling. It's never been the same. On a more serious note, uh, episode 6 of Ultraman Decker terrified me too because of how many twin tails they used. Look at that! No human should have this much power! You think? Moving on. Let's talk about the other episode that traumatized Meek Ale. As a kid, I always put on the aforementioned Ultraman DVDs and replayed the episodes over and over. So nothing changed. I used to only have the DVD that contained episodes 3 and 4, the Glossena and Daigerun episodes. So eventually, after driving my mom crazy with the same episodes over and over, we got a new set of episodes. And one of them was Ultraman Dyna episode 13, Monster Factory. 
The episode is essentially a boy who cried wolf story about a young boy who discovers shady aliens, but nobody takes him seriously because of how he always messes around with other people. The aliens in question are the alien Major, three aliens who are bumbling, yet eccentric and flamboyant. They were secretly building a super robot to conquer the Earth under the front of a monster toy factory. Being an Ultraman Dino episode, there's quite a lot of gags in this one. Asuka steals a manga, the aliens' funny human forms, Garawan literally being just a hit because it's not finished yet. This episode scared me so much it made me swear off the series for three years! To be fair, I was like, what, four? Yeah, sure, laugh at me, you ain't much better when you're scared of this. <laughs> I was scared of that too. I don't know man, this episode triggered the fight or flight within me when I was a kid. Uh, according to my mom, I was hysterically screaming and crying. I vaguely remember which parts it was that scared me. They were the parts when the alien major turned into their alien forms. I think I reached my limit when they went into Garawan to pilot it. Come on, at least make it to the part where Dino appears. Uh, watching it today, I genuinely don't know what about this scared me so much. What? Was I scared of the aliens? They're supposed to be funny! They look like cherry buffaloes! Of course, this is grown-up meek speaking. What scares me these days are bills and price hikes. Sometimes you just can't perceive something the same way a child's brain does. Maybe their developing brain sees things differently. But this was my brain! It's not like an old grainy show like Ultraman Ace was which I can at least understand the uneasiness of watching something old. Or if there was any jump scare or crazy imagery like the Shinigami stuff in Gaia. This? I got nothing! I guess maybe I was scared of how these guys looked. I, I gotta admit, they do look quite off-putting and maybe even threatening due to their color and abrupt transformation from their human forms. Maybe they were demons all along. But I guess that's how it always is. As a kid, your imagination is wild. Everything is scary and real and believable to them. That's why childlike wonder is a term. And seeing a lot of different experiences shapes us as humans, so it's always important to soak in lots of knowledge and experiences. On another note, like stuff like old TV shows and mysterious DVDs used to be mega scary because you couldn't verify stuff for real to an extent, which is why things like creepypastas and internet legends used to be so prevalent. Nowadays, information is so easily accessible so things that used to be scary just aren't anymore because you can't just look up what the hell that was, like gamas! So yeah, those were the Ultraman episodes that terrified me as a child. If you want to, let me know in the comments if anything about the Ultra series has ever freaked you out before. I can't be the only one pissing in my pants here. I have dignity or whatever's left of it. And just like that, Frightening memories become sweet memories. Where did all the Ultraman stuff go? Who turned on the lights? <sighs> ah, of course, spooky season just ended.